Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about this identity right here, the Laplace transform of f of t over t. And this is a powerful one because we can actually use it to evaluate improper integrals with it. And we are going to do this in the next video, so be prepared for it. We are going to destroy an integral hard, really hard. So let's go ahead and get started. How could we deal with this one right here? We could, as always, just plug in the definition of Laplace transform to this function. So this is just the improper integral from 0 to infinity of f of t over t e to the minus st dt. And we've got a new mission, my boys. We want to express this integral in terms of a different function. Just try following my thought process on this one. So let's take a look at f of t over t times e to the minus st. I hope you guys agree with me that we could add or subtract the zero and that won't change anything. So let's just subtract the zero. Okay, what could we do with this information? Well, we could express this function right here in terms of an integral with an upper and lower bound. Hmm, how could we do that? Well, at first we could say that this s right here, we want to express it in terms of a new variable. Let's say we are going to call it phi because in an integral with phi we, could, uh, we would get a d phi. And since we are defying the system of mathematics on this channel, we are going to call it phi. So let's just say this is the same as f of t over t times e to the minus end limit as phi approaches s of phi times t. Okay, and now we have to express this zero in terms of this function right here, in terms of phi. So how would we get a zero? Hmm. If phi would approach infinity, positive infinity, that would mean that we could get e to the minus infinity, so that's one over infinity, and that would be zero. So this is great. So this is just minus f of t over t times e to the minus limit as phi approaches infinity of phi times t. Okay, and this is great. So we can write this in terms of upper and lower bounds. This is just now f of t over t times e to the minus phi t from infinity to s. We can rewrite this in this way. Hmm. Now we just have to find an integrand when integrated would give us this function right here. So that's a simple differential equation. I'm going to give you a little hint. We would end up with the integral from infinity to s of minus f of t times e to the minus phi t d phi. Finally the, the d phi. You guys are liking it. I can see it in the comments. So great. Hmm. Okay. So I hope you agree with me that this is true. So when we uh, integrate this one right here, that would be um, minus one over t would get dragged down. So that's minus and minus would become positive. So that's f of t over t times e to the minus phi t. So that's great. We've got an integral, a different representation of this function, and we can apply this minus right here to this integral to switch the upper and lower bound. So now we end up with the integral from s to infinity of f of t times e to the minus phi t in d phi. And we can plug this new information into our original integral. It doesn't really look better because we are getting a double integral now. So that's the integral from zero to infinity of the integral from s to infinity of f of t e to the minus phi times t dt. And now we are going to use Papa Fubini, Fubini's theorem to switch around the order of integration. And don't forget your d phi. I'm stupid. <laughs> so let's switch the order of integration around. So this is now the integral from s to infinity of the integral from zero to infinity of f of t e to the minus phi t dt d phi. And if you got a sharp eye, then you might notice that this right here is just the Laplace transform of f of t in terms of phi this time. Don't forget, this Laplace transform up here is a function in terms of s. So we have a change of variable. Okay, so let's rewrite this. This is now the integral from s to infinity 
of the Laplace transform of f of t in terms of phi uh, d phi. And then we are basically done with this new identity. And I want you guys to notice if we let the limit of s approaches and uh, zero on both sides, then that would mean if we let s approach zero, that's e to the zero, so that's one, so we only got the improper integral from zero to infinity of f of t over t dt. And this is then equal to the integral from zero to infinity of the Laplace transform of f of t in terms of phi d phi. We are going to use this fact in the next video. I thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you for your great support. If you want to support me a bit more, take a look in the description. There will be a link to my Patreon. And up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya.